Hello, my name is Mike Nugent. I am the CEO and co-founder of Bison. Bison is software as a service. We aggregate data to create analytics and insight in the private investment markets. The reason why this is so important for the global banking industry is that less than 1% of the companies globally are publicly traded. 99% of them are privately held. And at some point in their life cycle, they're gonna go through the private investment markets. I know how difficult this market is to analyze and cover because I spent 10 years as a limited partner investing in private equity, venture capital, hedge funds, and real estate funds. And there's are two instances where we're immediately helping private banks, excuse me, banks. Um, one, financial coverage, or, uh, financial sponsored coverage teams, uh, and two is the private bank and wealth management teams. Um, don't take it from me though, I'll take it from Steve. Steve is living the problem. He basically lives 100% on spreadsheets and Rolodex. This is how the market identifies, analyzes, and research and eventually transacts in this market. And he's 100% on spreadsheets and Rolodex, and because there's such bad information out there, he's actually spending over $500,000 a year on external consultants. Now that market, in the immediate space, is big enough on its own. There's over one and a half to two billion spent on inf independent information research. Add in the billion spent on consultants because of a lack of good information and, and analytics. Now that's just the institutional market. Let's flip it to the other side, to those private bankers and the private wealth management. The market is transitioning from institutional to individual. In the US alone, the SEC knows of one million qualified and seven million accredited investors. Going back to the mass affluent that were mentioned before. Now if you think about that, the real trend here is that basically anyone with some capital can invest in this market. Historically, KKR used to have a $25 million minimum to get into their funds. It's $10,000 now. Every private bank, every investment manager, every wealth management group should know and understand the space and be bringing products to their clients to get alpha. So how do we fix this information and analytics gap? We leverage technology where others are using mechanical turks. We crawl through, parse and publish publicly available information from massive repositories of unstructured data. We work with the SEC, the Department of Labor, the IRS, and their counterparts in other countries. Additionally, we work with the investors that are the major providers and the major supporters of this asset class. Not only can you find firms, you can find the hardest piece, the biggest eye candy. How have their funds actually performed? And not just one fund, you can see how all their funds have performed. We took it a step further though. We line up every one of these GPs right next to each other. They love this too because they've had the same information drought. They haven't seen what others have been doing. They know how they do and they hear about the market in general. They don't know how they do against their peers. For us, that wasn't good enough. We wanted to make it easy. To the point of consumer simple, We've made Bison so it can just ingest any cash flow spreadsheet and in two clicks, you'll have a comparison of any public market, excuse me, private market fund against their public market equivalent. That's where everyone is going right now because they've been criticizing benchmarks. They want to know the absolute return. Well, we had that out there and then all the buy side users, the endowments, the foundations, the pensions, asked for us to see what other LPs were doing. What was the buy side doing? So we dove into new data sets and we were able to show into the portfolios of the major investors in these asset classes where they're deploying capital, what size of commitments, and what performance they've actually achieved. Now we're certainly not alone. Um, if you look out there, there's really three major areas that we try and thread the needle between. There are platforms. Now the platforms are typically lead gen sites, which is a bit of a contradiction to the way the industry has always been built on confidentiality. Um, there's databases and they're just that. Uh, they're traditional hierarchical file structures that are sometimes difficult to repeat the answer that you're looking for. And then you've got the high touch. And the high touch costs anywhere from 10 to 100 times per year the annual subscription cost of Bison. But we've got great metrics and social proof. We launched last June, and over that time we've had 39% monthly growth in our registered users. 
And this is just an illustration of our early adopters, our paying clients, spread across general partners, limited partners, fund to funds, placement agents, family offices. It's all the people that you want to have, and this is a part of our go to market. By getting those industry leaders, they're going to be able to show people the proof of the value of this product. We have aggressive market pricing to get out there, and it's a SaaS based tiered pricing model. Now, at 10K per year and 20,000 firms, in the private equity and venture capital space, our first product, first market opportunity is $200 million. It's just the tip of the iceberg though. What we've built is completely repeatable and scalable into hedge funds, real estate, and real assets. And then we go down the value chain to the point where we can actually be doing distribution and offering investment products. And many folks have reached out to The team we built, a lot of user experience on it, my co-founder Rob, Thank you.